Hey friends, welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about 10 different types of audio mixers for beginners. But before we continue, I want to quickly ask you to please check out my YouTube homepage to view all of my videos, carefully organized by subject. Also, if you find this information useful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a great deal and also helps us to keep doing what we're doing. And now, back to the presentation. The intent here is to provide a high-level summary of the pros and cons of each type of audio mixer mentioned. This is for people who are new to using them and would like to know what choices they have. Now, audio mixing consoles, also known as mixers or soundboards, come in various types. Each are designed for specific applications and workflows. The different types of mixing consoles can be categorized based on their functionality, structure, and use cases. So with this, let's get started. The first is analog mixing consoles. These mixers use physical circuits to process audio signals, signals and are popular for their warm sound and hands-on control. The pros are simple operation, low latency, and rich analog sound. The cons are limited flexibility, no built-in digital effects, and requires external processing gear. Now, when it comes to use cases, they're used in small recording studios, live sound applications, and radio stations. The second is digital mixing consoles. These mixers process audio in the digital domain, providing flexibility, in many cases automation, and advanced processing capabilities. The pros include built-in effects, recallable presets, advanced routing, and automation. The cons are basically it's a higher learning curve and the potential for software bugs or crashes. The use cases include large concerts, broadcast studios, and professional recording studios. The third is powered mixing consoles. These include built-in amplifiers, making them ideal for small live sound applications where external power amplifiers are not needed. The pros are they are usually compact and easy to set up and convenient for portable PA systems. The cons are they have limited power output, less flexibility, and, or should I say, and less flexibility compared to separate amp setups. The use cases include small bands, DJ gigs, churches, and community events. Number four is analog digital hybrid consoles. These consoles combine analog cir circuitry with digital processing, offering the best of both worlds. The pros are hands-on analog controls with digital recall and effects. The cons are they're generally more expensive than purely analog or digital consoles. The use cases include mid-sized studios, live performances, and hybrid recording setups. Number five is broadcast mixing consoles. And these are designed specifically for radio and television applications. These consoles feature specialized routing, multiple outputs, and communication systems. The pros are, these are, you know, they offer precision audio control, remote integration, and very robust construction. The cons are they can be very expensive and they're designed for specific applications rather than general use. The use cases cover radio stations, TV studios, and podcasting networks. Number six is live sound mixing consoles. And these are optimized for live performances. These consoles include features like multiple aux sends, groups, and real-time effects processing. The pros include fast access to controls, a more durable design, a high input output with high input output capabilities. 
The cons are they can be very bulky and expensive. Use cases include concerts, theaters, event venues, and large churches, houses of worship. Number seven is studio recording consoles. Now these are generally high-end mixers used in professional recording studios, offering top-tier preamps, routing options, and DAW integration in some cases. The pros include high fidelity sound, extensive control, and seamless, well, hopefully seamless DAW integration. The cons are they can be very expensive and require uh, advanced technical knowledge. Use cases include professional music studios, film scoring, and high-end production houses. Number eight is portable compact mixing consoles. Now, these units are usually small, lightweight mixers designed for simple setups and mobile applications. The pros are they are easy to carry around, they're mobile, and you know, simple to operate and often budget friendly. The cons are they have limited input-output options and fewer advanced features. Use cases include small gigs, home recording, field recording, and often content creation. Number nine is matrix mixing consoles. Now these are designed for complex routing and these consoles allow multiple mix outputs for different audio zones. The pros include advanced routing, flexible audio distribution, along with, I should say, flexible audio distribution. Now the cons are they require expertise to configure them properly. The use cases are uh, generally for large-scale events, broadcasting, and multi-room audio setups. Number 10 is DAW control surfaces. Now these aren't traditional mixers, but function as controllers for digital audio workstations or DAWs. They provide a tactile control for virtual mixing. Now the pros are this enhances workflow in digital environments, um, it integrates with software, and the cons are no outboard audio processing and requires a computer. The use cases are generally music production, sound design, film post, and of course film post production. Now each type of mixing console mentioned here serves a different purpose. So the best choice depends on the application, the budget, and the technical needs. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, uh, please give it the thumbs up and click, a, click the subscribe button to join our group. We have new videos coming out every seven to 14 days. And also leave a comment in the comment section about this content. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and TikTok. While you're here, listen to some of the music and check out the playlist because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.